three particles of masses 50 grams, 100 grams, and 150 grams are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side 1 meter as shown in the figure. The xy coordinate of the center of mass will be. Okay, so this has been asked in JE 2019. Okay, so what's given is uh, three particles named M1, M2, and M3. They are situated at the vertices of the triangle. So if you draw the uh, picture in here, yeah, so I will get like okay. So this will be the case. Uh, the first particle M1, it is at O. So the coordinate at this point, this is zero comma zero, and the particle M1 is here. Okay. At one meter from the origin, uh, this this is the M2. So let's take this coordinate as A, and the coordinates of this point that will be one comma zero, and M2 is here. At this point, uh, let's say this is the point B. The particle C is there, so mass of this is M3. If we try to find the coordinate of this point, so we will get the x coordinate. This will be the midpoint of O and A. So this point will be one by two comma zero. So the x coordinate I will get of point B is one by two. And for the y coordinate, I can say this this is the right angle triangle. So the length of side OB that will also be the one. And this angle is given as sixty degree. So I can find the vertical projection of the line segment OB. That will be one sine sixty. So that will be the y coordinate. So I can write it like one sine sixty. Okay. So from here I got the coordinates of the point B as one by two and root three by two. Okay. Now for finding center of mass, now I can apply like XCM. That will be m one x one plus m two x two plus m three x three divided by summation of the masses m one plus m two plus m three. So from here the putting the values of m one, m two, and x one, x two. I will get x c m as m one. M one is fifty grams, and the coordinate of the point coordinate for that point is zero. X coordinate of that point is zero. So fifty into zero plus m two. M two is hundred grams, and the coordinate x coordinate is one. So I can write hundred into one. M three. M three is one fifty grams, and the coordinate which is the x one is one by two. So I can write. One fifty into one by two upon summation of the masses m one plus m two plus m three so that is fifty plus hundred plus one fifty so that is three hundred so if we look at this so we will get hundred plus one seventy five that is one hundred seventy five upon three hundred this will be the x coordinate so after simplifying I will get I will get XCM as seven by twelve. So XCM that will be seven by twelve meter because it's given in meter. So X coordinate will be seven by twelve. For Y coordinate, we'll apply the same formula. So we will get as YCM as YCM that is M one Y one plus M two Y two plus M three Y three upon Summation of the masses m1 plus m2 plus m3. So from here I will get y c m after putting the coordinates of y1, m1, m2, y2. So m1 y1, y1 is again zero. So m1, m1 is 50 into zero plus m2, m2 is 100 and 100 into the y coordinate for this point is zero. m3 y3, m3 is 150 grams and y3, y3 is root 3 by 2. Upon m1 plus m2, so that is 300. So from here, I will get the coordinate y c m as 150, 150 root 3 upon 600. So after simplifying, I will get y c m as root 3 by 4. So the center of mass for this given system is x and y system, that is 7 by 12, comma root 3 by 4. And both are in the meters. So if we look at the options, then the option two, that will be the correct one.